Algebra 2, this is chapter two, chapter 4, sorry, section 7, and this will be the final video, the third and final um, for inverse matrices. So one of the applications for matrices and inverse matrices was back in the day when they did coding um, with cryptogra cryptography to send messages so that the different people couldn't intercept the message and know what was being said. They used matrices and matrix multiplication and the inverse matrix. So let's go through this problem and you can see kind of one application that um, it's, it's been used in history. So we've got a code table here and you probably played with these as a kid and you just took the, the letters straight into numbers. So we can do that. Our message for this example is going to be go tonight. Wherever you're going, you're going to go tonight. So G, G is 7 so we put a 7 there and O is 15 so I'm going to put a 15 there and a space is 0, and then T, um, T is 20, and I'm not going to have enough space here, O is 15 again, um, N is 14, I, I is 9, G is 7, H is 8, and T was, what was T, 20? and I'm off the edge of my page. Let me see if I can't move this over somehow. There. Okay, so that was 20. So now I've put my message like you would as a kid just straight into numbers and you could send that, but that was pretty easy to figure out. So then they decided to get really good with their cryptography, um, crypting it or putting it in a code. And so they came up with a matrix. And you can put whatever numbers you want in your matrix you want. And we're going to code our matrix with um, this one. This is the one that I'm going to use. So I need to make this, since this is a 2 by 2 matrix, I need to make this into a something by 2. So I'm going to start filling in my numbers. So my first number is 7. My first, second number is 15. Then I had a 0 and a 20. And I'm just going to take the numbers in order, 15 and 14 and then 9, 7, and 8, and 20. And once I have that all together, then I'm going to actually multiply that by my coding matrix. So I'm going to put my coding matrix over here. So it is 2, 1, 4, 3. Again, you can put whatever numbers you want in your coding matrix. As long as you know what it is and the person you're sending the message to knows what it is, it all works out fine. Then I'm going to do a multiplication. So let me grab green. I'm going to multiply my 2 and my 4, my first column, times each one of these. And I'll get my result in matrix down here. So 2 times 7 is 14. And uh, let's see, so 14. I probably need to move this one line over because I'm probably not going to have enough room here. Oops. Okay, and then 4 times uh, 15, 2 times 15 is 30, so 4 times 15 is 60, so plus 60. And then I'm going to take the 2 times 0 is 0, plus 4 times 20 is 80. And then 2 times 15 is 30, plus 4 times 14, which would be 40, 56. And then... 2 times 9 is 18, and 4 times 7 is 28, and then 2 times 8 is 16, and 4 times 20 is 80. And that does my first column. Then I want to multiply my second column. So 1 times 7 is 7, and 3 times 15 is 45. 1 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 20 is 60. 1 times 15 is 15, and 3 times 14 would be 30, 42. 1 times 9 is 9, 3 times 7 is 21, 1 times 8 is 8, and 3 times 20 is 60. Then I can do all my additions and get my matrix. So 14 and 60 is 74. 7 and 45 would be 52. 0 plus 80 is 80. 0 plus 60 is 60. 
30 plus 56 is 86. 15 and 42 would be 40, 57. 18 and 28 would be 30, 46. 9 plus 21 would be 30. 16 and 80 would be 96. And 8 plus 60 is 68. So when you sent this code, you would send 74, 52, 80, 60, 86, 57, 46, 30, 96, and 68. And nobody would be able to get that and then be able to interpret what that actually was. But when you, a uh, person on the other side got it, they would know what your original matrix was, this one here, and they would come up with the inverse of it. So we need the inverse of that one matrix. So that's 1 over the determinant. So 2 times 3 is 6, minus 4 times 1 is 4. And remember to swap the A and the D, so that becomes 3 and 2. And take the um, opposite signs on these, so that's negative 4 and negative 1. And then 6 minus 4 is 1 half. So the resultant matrix here would be 3 halves, negative 2, negative 1 half, and 1. And that's our inverse. So A, the negative first, is equal to that. So now I can take this matrix here and I can multiply it by my end if I am the person receiving this. So they would have the 74 the 52, putting it back together in a matrix. So they would get this set of codes and they would put it back as a something by two matrix. 60, 86, 57, 46, 30, 96, and 68. And then you would want to multiply it by the inverse. Okay, so our inverse again was this 3 halves, negative 1 half, negative 2, 1. So that was a 3 halves, a negative 1 half, a negative 2, and a positive 1. And we do the multiplication on here, we should end up with our original numbers coming back. So we get 3 halves of 74. 74 divided by 2 is 35, 36, 37, 37 times 3 is 111. I'm going to need a little bit more space. And then, um, let's see, so I'm taking this one here. One half, or negative 2 times 52 would be minus a 104. And then 3 halves of 80, so 80 divided by 2 is 40. 40 times 3 is 120. And then negative 2 times 6 is minus 120. And then you take 3 halves times 86, so half of 86 is 43. 43 times 3 is 129. And then negative 2 times 57 is 114. Okay, and it's a negative 2, so you'd make it a negative. Uh, 3 halves times 46, so half of 46 is 23. 23 times 3 is 69. And then negative 2 times 30 is 60, so minus 60. And then the last one here, half of 96, it would be 45, 48. And 3 times 48 would be 114. And then 2 times 68 would be 136. Now we take our other column and multiply the same way coming down. So half of 74 we said was 37. And it's a negative, so negative 37. And then 1 times 52 is 52. And then half of 80 would be 40, so it's a negative 40 plus 60. 
And then we're going to take half of 86, which was 43, so negative 43, and then plus of 57. And then we want half of 26, which is a negative 23, plus 30, and half of 96, which was 45, 46, 47, 48, so negative 48, and then that's going to be plus 68. And so whenever I add all those numbers together, 111 minus 104 gives me back my 7. 37, uh, negative 37 plus 52 is going to be 15. 120 minus 120 is 0. Negative 40 plus 60 is 20. Neg uh, 128 minus 114 is a 15. And negative 43 plus 57 is 14. 69 minus 60 is 9. Negative 23 plus 30 is 7. 114 minus 136 is 8. And negative 48 plus 68 is 20. And so when you pull that out all out, the person receiving the message would say 7, 15, 0, 20, 15, 14, 9, 7, 8, and 20, go all the way back to the top. And if I grab this code and I bring it down, come on, I want to bring you down. And I keep bringing you down. Oops, wrong thing. Bring that down. And bring that down some more. And extend my page and bring it down all the way down to the bottom. So I can put this back. So 7 is G. 7 is G, 15 is 0, 0 is a space, 20, 20 is T, 15 is an O, 14 is an N, 9 is I, 7 is G, 8 is H, and 20, 20 was T. And you get your message go tonight back out of there. So you are successful at sending the message encrypted, unencrypting it, and getting your message back out.